Well, before I answer that, I just, I just want to emphasise, as you have, how difficult that is. I want to agree with Tony. I have a yeah. friend now who uh, was a spiritualist medium, certainly was used in supernatural revelation and healing, but it wasn't from God. It was usurped power. It was supernatural power, usurped power, and you, we all know who was behind that. Yes. Yeah. And the scripture's clear on spiritualism being an abhorrence to God. That's easy. But when we read in Matthew 7, 22 to 23, Jesus speaking, yes. many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, we did not, did we not prophesy in your name and did your name drive out demons and perform many miracles? Jesus says, then I will tell them plainly, I never knew you away from you, from me, you evildoers. Now, he doesn't say clearly, and it would have made it easier, no, you didn't. They weren't really miracles. That's right. He, he almost leaves it open that there could have been counterfeit miracles. Yes. And there's a whole genre in scripture of counterfeit mir miracles building up to when the one who is the Antichrist comes. Yes. Mm -hmm. An unholy trinity, yes. a false prophet, beast, and Antichrist, which will be miracles counterfeited, just as Pharaoh's magicians counterfeited miracles. That's at the right. Time of so powerful that it would deceive the elect if that were possible. Yeah. I'm so grateful. <laughs> Mm. for that that addition there mm -hmm. so that's the thing to do first forgive me for not answering your question no no, 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 no. The, the demand of it <laughs> the demand of it root yeah. and fruit is important to me yes i think i want to say doug the roots of where the person's coming from and the fruit of that ministry does it line up with the plumb line of scripture mm. and if it does where are they coming from and what is the fruit of that ministry do those miracle signs prophetic utterances take us deeper into a love of christ take us closer to the, into the loving arms of the Father? Are we turned out into evangelism and caring for the poor? Do we desire for holiness? Is our prayer life increased? Roots and fruits. Mm -hmm. You got anything to add on that, Tony? I agree. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and, hey, what strikes me, though, as, as, as interesting, is these people actually come to the Lord and say, we did it in your name. Yes. Mm. In, in other and, and, and as you rightly say, the Lord does not say, um, no, you didn't. You, you didn't work a miracle. So just like as, as Aaron, you, you, you mentioned the, the, the wizards and before Pharaoh, just as Aaron threw the, the, the rod down, it became a snake. Here come all these wizards. They throw their rods down. What have you got? A room full of snakes. And as I always say to people, stop the video there. Tell me which one's Aaron's. And just by looking at it, you can't, because yeah. they all look exactly the same. And yet, one came by the power of God, the other quite clearly came by a different power. Now, I think, number one, should, I, doesn't that mean, therefore, that we have to be very much aware of that? Isn't there then a danger that we go so the other way that we say, well, I'm just going to ignore all, all miracles. I, I'm going to ignore everything yes. that there's a God. Because mm -hmm. uh, now I, 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 I don't know, wh where, you know where I am with it. Yeah. And so can we, uh, you've talked about roots and fruits. You've talked about where it comes from, where it goes to. Um, can we develop that a little bit more? Sure. Here we have miracles that are happening. We have uh, f uh, healings that are being claimed in the name of the Lord. We, ha we have people being raised from the dead being claimed in the name of the Lord. Where do we go with that um, from, from, from that uh, point of view? Tony, do, do, do you I mean, the miracles in the Bible, I mean, the miracles that Jesus did were to accredit him in one sense as the Lord, also out of his compassion for people in need. Um, all of those miracles were clear and visible. So if someone was raised from the dead, everyone knew they were dead. Only three people actually were raised from the dead, even by Jesus. That's right. uh, but they knew that they were dead, and they were clearly alive. Uh, likewise, the blind man was clearly blind, now was clearly seeing. And that was accredited not just by friends and family, but also by the opposition, as happened with the miracles of the apostles. And you know, Acts chapter 3 and chapter 4, uh, the, the Sanhedrin was... A little bit grieved by what had happened, but it says, uh, seeing the man who had been healed standing with them, they could say nothing against it. Mm -hmm. So the man was there, there was nothing they could say because the evidence was there. And one of the problems I've had, having come through some quite extreme charismatic churches in the past, where there was a lot of emphasis on healing, was actually the absence of evidence for the real healing taking place. In fact, right. you know, I thought at one church I'd been to, they were going on all about healing all the time. Then eventually I thought, well, I actually haven't seen <laughs> anything I could discern as a real miracle. Yes. Uh, and so 
the claim, the claim and the reality is one thing which I, I feel is very important in the modern church because mm -hmm. we're hearing huge claims, but then when they're tested, the reality is mm. not, not sometimes not even there at all. So, I mean, one of the basic things about Christians is you're supposed to tell the truth. <laughs> so, if the thing isn't true, if it hasn't really happened, and you claim it, then that's actually lying in the name yeah. of Jesus, which is wrong. So again, it's, it's another form of testing out, isn't it? Yeah. it? It's not just listening to people say, oh, you know, you know, so many people have been raised from the dead, so many people got healed. It's, it, 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 it's not also wanting to decry what God is doing, yeah. is it? But it, it is one thing before we actually get, yeah, praise God. Well, okay, let me see, and let's have the evidence that this person was blind, now could see, was lame, now could walk, was dead, it is now raised, yeah. so that we can rejoice together. Yeah. And, and uh, that's not wrong, that's not lack of faith? It's not. And I mean, the problem is if the secular media then get hold of it, as they have done in many yeah. of these cases, and say, well, give us evidence. two or three accredited miracles, and there is none come forth, then they say, oh, it's yeah. Christians just telling porky pies again. <laughs> So, so as, as Christians, Clive, we have to be very careful these days what we say, especially the world is looking on, isn't it? And we have to be very careful what we say and, and, and what we claim. Well, first of all, let me give you a very personal example. Until January this year, I was pastor at Christ Church Baptist Church down on the south coast near Bournemouth. And there's a gentleman there called Tony Symes. And Tony Symes is well into his 80s and uh, happily married and I was at a wedding with him last summer where he was dancing with his wife <laughs> but he'd had a very severe case of cancer tumor right. in the leg and secondaries in his lungs now he was prayed for in a communion service with anointing of oil according to the teaching of Mark 5 right. by myself and someone else and when I he think was, you meant James 5 uh, yeah. James 5 yes, sorry okay. yeah wherever I said <laughs> James just, 5 is what just, I meant just the elders anointing what did that. I say Mark <laughs> right uh, James 5 yeah uh, although Mark the Lord commissioned them and sent them yeah, out to white oil yeah, yeah. Tony was healed of secondary cancers in his lungs as confirmed by scans and also by x-rays and he's still healthy and vibrant now though ripe in years but we told him and the church not to sing it from the rooftops until we'd had that medical mm. verification yes, yeah. and to go back to doctors and never ever stop your medication anything like that so thank God for the doctors and nurses mm -hmm. we do need to test this my first degree was in science including biological sciences and psychology. I've got an empirical mind I want to test. But I also want to be very wary of falling into the trap that the Pharisees fell into in Mark 3, where they actually attribute the work of Jesus himself to the work of Beelzebub, the prince of demons. Yes. And in Mark 3, 23 to 24, we read Jesus saying, how can Satan drive out Satan if a kingdom is divided against itself? That kingdom cannot stand. If a house is divided against itself, the house cannot stand, and if Satan opposes himself and is divided, he cannot stand, his end has come. It's, there's an onus on us to be yes. very wary, use the scriptures, look at roots and fruits, but be open to the possibility of even unusual things mm -hmm. possibly being of God. Mm. So when we hear these claims, we do have to test them, and if there is no evidence, we have to speak out. W would you say it? Because otherwise people are going to get drawn into that thinking things are happening that are not happening. W w would you agree with that, Tony? Yeah, I would. Yes. Yeah. But at the same time, we must be careful that we don't become to, to the stage where we, you know, oh, nothing's happening or even worse as yeah. this case. I mean, Satan did it. Um, there seems to be a... a, a of a real tension here in, in, in the way we walk and the, and the way we, we have to look at these things. I think part of the problem also is the kind of emphasis on power evangelism which has come in over the last 20 odd years in Christianity yes. so that basically if you don't have the signs you really can't do the miracles. I remember, I mean at this fellowship I went to which was, doesn't exist anymore so I'm not, <laughs> <laughs> but it was way back in the 70s I think and I right. just become a Christian and I come out of the Communist Party and with my wife we were going bashing out leaflets at the speaker's corner and talking to these communists and they asked me to give a testimony in this meeting so I shared what we've been doing and this man stood up and said well have you seen any miracles as a result and I said well no and he said well unless you see miracles basically you're wasting your time you've got to produce the miracles otherwise no one's going to believe